So the miracle of producing this uh, recording after, well, wow, almost hmm, a dozen years after it was first performed uh, is really a tribute to John Adams' uh, passion for the piece. Uh, he's conducting the uh, wonderful BBC Symphony. Uh, we have a, a, a wonderful group of uh, chorus people, the, the wonderful BBC singers, who, uh, who nailed it actually in the recording sessions with, with, uh, with great passion and great precision. Um, John as the conductor, uh, conducting his own work is a huge force, of course, and his, 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 excite his excitement for having such uh, talented forces at his disposal really uh, is infectious. And I think the resulting recording has great energy passion and um, one of the great things of course is recording it uh, as part of a performance and the performance angle is always great you get the energy of the connection with an audience um, the instantaneous sort of uh, passion for um, uh, for the story as it's happening and uh, the orchestra played uh, really I'm, I'm so thrilled for for the musical uh, standard that uh, that they they bring to it. My fellow soloists are uh, you know the cr cream of the crop of uh, of young and and talented um, uh, singers. Julia Bullock as Kitty Oppenheimer really is uh, a, a wonderful force of nature and and brings great commitment to the role of Kitty Oppenheimer. Uh, Brindley Sherratt as General Groves, gravitas, gorgeous voice and uh, you know a, a tremendous tremendous um, uh, commitment to the role. Others involved are Andrew Staples and uh, he plays the young uh, scientist Wilson who comes up uh, with these very legitimate arguments um, about why they should not uh, continue with the, with the atomic tests um, and really is the conscience I think of Oppenheimer and uh, but uh, he sang, sings it with great devotion, uh, and an aria that he has is fantastic as well. Jennifer Johnston as the uh, wonderful uh, uh, First Nations uh, woman Pasqualita, who sings really a, a very most wonderful uh, Tewa lullaby, uh, bringing really the conflict of the peacefulness and the, the uh, fragile nature of, of nature. Um, from the First Nations perspective, but uh, Jennifer's wonderful, full and glorious voice really adds a huge charm to, to the, and to the mm, poignancy, I'd say, of, uh, of the perspective of, of the Tewa Indian for, uh, for what's happening in their desert, their sacred spot, uh, this huge atomic scientific test in this extraordinarily uh, spiritual part of the world. I must also s sort of say of course that this project was really brought together um, in total by Peter Sellers, the librettist and uh, the first uh, stage director of the piece. Um, I learned the piece along with John and um, Donald Runkle's event firstly in San Francisco in 2005, but Peter's, Peter Sellers' vision for this as a dramatic piece really has been uh, extraordinary. He takes, as a librettist, he takes all the text from, for, from sources. He hasn't written any of it himself. Um, obviously the John Donne sonnet, uh, Batter My Heart, which Oppenheimer sings just before the test itself. Um, one of the most famous sonnets ever in, uh, in English uh, literature. Um, but then uses uh, Muriel Rukeyser for the voice of of Kitty Oppenheimer, and then um, contemporary accounts and dialogues that uh, that were used by the um, characters involved, and so there, it's absolute direct speech. So what we're singing is what those characters actually said at the time. So John's music is putting great mm, support and irony and uh, and placement. Uh, for these conflicting emotions and passions and uh, really as a, as a totality this is a huge piece of, um, of contemporary art. I, of course I'm thrilled that uh, Nonsuch uh, should 
bring such a cast and, and musical team together. And uh, I think the result really respects the work. It, it is a thrill that it's the first formal CD recording uh, conducted by the composer. And uh, I think the fact that we're doing it 12 years after the premiere serves that it's absolutely an opera for our time and for the future.